In this video, we're going to look at how to actually start using the system. Specifically, we're going to look at the main parts of BuildExact. We'll talk a bit about capturing leads. And from there, we'll look at actually how to start to create an estimate. Now, to begin, I want to give you a brief overview of the three key things that BuildExact does, as that'll really help shape our understanding of the layout of the system and really set us up for this video as well as future videos. So if we boil it down, BuildExact does really three key things. The first thing is we have the leads area which really helps us manage at that pre-estimate stage, all the different uh, clients and opportunities that come into you. From there, we obviously have the estimating side of Build Exact, where we can go through, create the estimate, quote letter, takeoffs, and those sorts of things. And lastly, we have the job management section, which is really all about helping to manage that project all the way through. But in terms of how to actually start, how do we get involved using the system? There's really two key ways to really get into the estimate. The first way is going to be through the leads, and that is really only applicable for those of you on the Pro and Teams plan. So I'm just going to quickly go through uh, how to create an estimate via leads, and then we'll come back and talk about the other ways. So again, for those of you on the upgraded plans, we can start by creating a lead. And this is really applicable when somebody first lands on your radar, somebody first reaches out to you about a potential opportunity. We can go ahead and capture a lead. So I'll go ahead and say Bob Green's my prospective client. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add him in as a new client because I've never spoken with Bob before. So we'll go ahead and fill in just a few quick bits of detail here. And once I've done that, I can hit save and close. And that's now created the lead for me. Now, I'm not going to go through the lead section in any more detail today. We have a separate video on that for those of you that are curious. but this is essentially where we can start to manage Bob as a part of that pre-estimate. But when we want to create an estimate for Bob as we transition into that next stage for him, what we can do is we're going to hit estimates. We're going to hit create new. From here, I'm going to go ahead and select from template. So I'm creating an estimate from a template. Uh, on that, I can then click into it and I can see all the different templates that we have. These are a number of build exact ones. And as you create your own templates, this is where they also live. And we'll talk a little bit more about templates in future videos. Now, we know many people getting started. You may perhaps not really be 100% confident as to what's in these and more importantly, which one's applicable to you. So, of course, you can always preview the template as well if you would like. But in this case, I know what this one is. And this is the one I want to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And now I'm filling in for some details here for the project for Bob. So we're going to give it a description and I'll go ahead and say Bob Green's home. We're going to put in the type and we will have a drop down here that'll give us the ability to select. If we find something in here that isn't applicable, of course, we can just free type in if we'd like. But for now, it's going to be a two story home. We can enter in the source. We can enter in the work location as well, just to save us a step later on in the process. And from here, um, all I'm doing to do now is just tell Build Exact, well, what for my template do I want to pull across? And just for this example, I'm going to pull everything. We'll go through this in a little bit more detail in a future video. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. And that is now going to create an estimate for me for Bob. Now, we're not going to go any further uh, on the estimating side. Uh, we do have future videos for that. But really want to just highlight that this is the first way you can create an estimate via the lead, which, again, is helping you to manage the process. But for those of you on entry, as well as really anybody, uh, perhaps you want to skip the lead stage for various reasons, and that's absolutely OK. To create an estimate outside of the lead, all you need to do is click into the Estimates tab, and we can hit the Create New button, where we'll now see basically the same functionality here, uh, effectively allowing you to select from template. The other thing I'll briefly touch on as well is if you hit New Estimate and you hit Create, this is also where you can actually go ahead and elect to import an estimate in from Excel. I'm not going to cover that in this video. We do have some FAQ content on that. That'll really guide you through the process. Now, there is one other key way that you can start an estimate in Build Exact, and that is if you want to just go ahead and copy a previous estimate, as this is also a very popular method of really starting to use the system and starting to create estimates, and then from there, uh, just pulling through ones you've previously done to help you create new estimates. And that's how to get started in Build Exact. Mm -hmm.